McDonald's. I'm gonna have a Burger King. I wanna go to French Laundry. Boys, we're eating at home tonight. No! 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 I don't wanna eat at home. If I have to eat at home, I'm gonna run away and, and live in the park. Jimmy! No! Fine! Boys, that's enough. Stop it now. If you go and live in the park, what are you gonna eat? Squirrels and grass. Squirrels and grass. Squirrels, Squirrels and grass. And what Squirrels about and school? Grass. We need school anyway. You need school. You need school so you can get a job. You need a job so you can make money. Because if you don't have money, you're not going to get a BMW 7 Series. No! I want a BMW 7 Series! You're not getting a BMW 7 Series. You're not going to live in the park. You're not going to eat squirrels. And we're eating dinner at home tonight. I can't do this anymore. Please, God, let's negotiate. What? what where, where am I? Who are you? Why do people keep asking me that? You know who I am. You just ask for my help. Awesome. So you can help me calm the little rascals. Well, that could be possibly in the works, but you must agree to raise them and also pay for the college tuition. Look, I'm at my wit's end. I'm only keeping the kids if you agree to pay for their college tuition. Uh -huh. And if I leave, then they have no mother. And I know you don't want that to happen. Well, I'm not sure that's completely in the plans. You know I already have a uh, foster family picked up. Ah. But will they pay their college tuition? Mm, not in the plans. But my kids have so much potential. The one who fires rockets, he's going to grow up and fly fighter planes and kill terrorists, just like George Bush. Mm. And the one that shoots guns, he can grow up and be a police officer. And the British one, well, maybe he'll grow up and have a better British accent. They have so much potential. Yes, I agree. So, here's a thought. Why don't you hook up with one of those rich mogul types, like Donald Trump? Mmm, not really my type. Your type? Rich? No, he's smart. Well, they just can be choosers. I know. That's why I of my first three husbands, all of them have left me now. Life's been a little unfair. Mm, sucks? Yeah, sucks. So it looks like we perceive fairness rather differently. Yep, it does. Well, here's a proposal. Now, I can't do tuition for your three kids, especially a private school, um, plus the fact that you say they're not the sharpest cheddar in Wisconsin anymore. But here's what I can uh, help you out with. How about one kid, public school, four years? Even though my kids aren't that sharp, private schools are still better than public schools. There's less drugs and sex and things like that. Oh, you have no idea, lady. The rich kids... <laughs> The rich kids, they just have more money to buy drugs. And the poor kids, they just steal it. And in terms of sex, pff, sex is everywhere. Okay. Issues aside, what about my other two boys? Well, they both can live off uh, the education of the first kid. I'm sorry, but your proposal is completely unacceptable. Come on, there must be some justice in this world. Justice? I must... I've forgotten to add that to my to-do list. Well, I'll tell you what, in all honesty, you haven't done everything that you could have done to improve your position. For example, you haven't looked for a new job recently. Okay, okay. All that aside, three kids, one private, two public. Three kids, all public. Deal. Deal. God. That's what I do. Hey, Diego. Si. Dove stai? Ah, bene, John, dimmi. Dove vai? Eh, stiamo aspettando tutti quanti il segnale di partenza per dare inizio alla gara, no? Sì. Nove, otto, sette, sei, cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno... I mean, 
people always ask me for help, and then when I bring them up here, they always act surprised. John, but, you're in heaven. But I can't be dead. I, I haven't even had breakfast yet. Well, actually, you're not quite dead yet, John. You're actually in limbo uh, while I decide what exactly I'm going to do with you. So, what's a five-letter word for the word devil? Satan. That was quick. So, so wait, wait, wait. If I'm not dead, then am I alive? Well, John, like I said, I haven't quite yet decided yet. Okay, so what am I going to do? I mean... Is there, is, is there some way that you can help me? Well, so John, I think, as you know, I'm an all-compassionate and all-knowing being, so um, why don't you make me an offer? Wait, 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 wait. You're saying if I make you a reasonable offer, you'll let me go back? I suppose that's the case. Okay, how about this? I'll, I'll say a Hail Mary, and uh, we can both be on our way. John, John, John. Now, we both know that even from a mortal perspective, that's not much of a deal. Alright, alright. How about I go to church on holidays, say five Hail Marys, and then Our Father. That's a pretty fair deal in my mind. John, I think we're making progress here, but I think you can make a better offer. Okay, okay, how about this? I'll go to church every Sunday. Not one of those televised mega churches you always see where Mr. T goes on and talks about how he had too much respect for the Lord and his mother. We're talking about actual church here. How about that? I don't know, John. I know you're compassionate, and I know you're powerful, so show your humble servant some mercy here. I'm not quite convinced of your sincerity. God. Is that okay? Can I call you God? We're both reasonable guys, you know? We're men of our word. I think we can trust each other. Besides, you're God. We'd try to pull a fast one on you. <sighs> That's undeniably true, John. You know what? You made a good case, and I think we have a deal.